What was the first virus on Earth? Around 4 billion years ago, the Earth came into existence. The uniqueness it had as compared to other planets placed it in a position of supporting life. Later, people on Earth felt unwell and they were not sure what the cause was. This challenged them to discover what it was. After several attempts at discovery, they discovered it was a virus. Join me today in this video as we discuss more on what was the first virus on Earth, its origin and evolution among many other things. Where the idea of a virus started. Life in Rome was very smooth out of the conducive environment that was present. They carried out activities in a normal way that included buying and selling in marketplaces. The Roman physician found himself battling a deadly disease. Those who suffered had high fever among other symptoms. The disease spread faster than they had ever imagined. It affected the Rome citizens in large numbers. Since the Roman physician was the only hope, he tried his best to give treatment where some recovered and many did not survive. However, he did not succeed in his attempt of discovering what the cause was. The disease continued for three years and spread further to other parts of the city. As deadly as it was, it led to the death of Lucius Verus, the Roman emperor. Eleven years later, his colleague died out of the disease. The Roman physician was now unable to control the disease from spreading further. All he did was document the disease, but if he had the same scientific knowledge possessed by the current doctors, he could have discovered the disease as smallpox. The disease was later conquered in 1980 after a long battle and it was caused by a virus. This was not the end or the start of a virus. What the Roman physician didn't know was that the virus had come into existence even before life began. The virus had undergone several evolutions to be where it was. If the Roman physician had the equipment our current doctors have, he could have been in a better position of discovering what the disease was. Origin of a Virus In 1982, a disease came up that was troubling tobacco plants. Dmitry Losifovich decided that he wanted to discover what the disease was. He took the leaves of the affected plant and crushed the leaves to obtain a liquid extract. He took the liquid extract and passed it through a filter for him to make a discovery. Surprisingly, the process filtrate still was in apposition of infecting the tobacco plant. Dmitry was surprised since the filter he used could not allow even bacteria to pass through. So he wondered what else on earth was so small that was causing the disease. However, the results did not stop them. It took them 40 years before they first saw the virus. This was because it could not be seen by naked eyes. The process was successful after several scientific advancements. This makes it difficult for us to see the virus responsible for smallpox and hepatitis. There are more viruses on earth responsible for causing various diseases in the human body. A virus is tiny and it ranges from 20 nanometers. This means that most complex viruses are the ones that can easily be seen. The ones with double-stranded DNA and single-stranded RNA are the most exposed as compared to others. Each virus on Earth has a uniqueness that makes it easier for it to adapt and live in the body of its host, be it an animal or plant. There are two types of viruses though, one that flows in the air and the other one that suits itself in our bodies. Once a virus finds its way into the body of a host, it inserts its genetic molecules into a cell for reproduction purposes. While some remove the protein in the cytoplasm for packaging and to enable them to move in and out, others place their DNA directly into the DNA of a host and these are the more dangerous ones. Scientists are working hard day and night towards realizing what the virus is and how it is capable of causing great damage. What is a virus? We all know that all living things have the ability to move either by crawling or even walking. Living things can reproduce, feed themselves and do many things on their own. For a virus, it is something different since they are not alive. They depend on a host for reproduction. In 1992 in a cooling tower, scientists located something. But because of its size and complexity, they were unable to easily discover that it was a virus. What they thought was bacteria. After noticing the presence of enzymes in a DNA fragment, they concluded it was a virus. The same genetic molecule and biochemistry in a virus increases its chance of survival on Earth. For the sake of quality understanding more about a virus, we need to look at their history back to the geological period. Some scientists have suggested that the virus should be included in the classification of living things. This is because of their uniqueness in nature and how they reproduce and survive. Our understanding of what exactly a virus is depends more on our DNA analysis and tracing them back to the geological period. Viruses that have been present up to date Retrovirus is a virus that reproduces by inserting its genes into the DNA of the host to prepare the host for new features. They infect mammals by creating a new protein which affects the placenta during the pregnancy period. 
retrovirus inserts its genes into the host and stands a better chance of winning over the host when the host is still alive. Over years now, the number of retrovirus has grown. Viruses are capable of causing great destruction that we can't all imagine. When a virus gets into the body of its host, it usually destroys the cells making the body weaker. It brings along a disease, therefore survival of the affected depends on the body's ability to adapt. The defense mechanism of the host is the immunity system. As the immune system is improving its defense strategy on the other hand, the virus is struggling to adapt to the changes. This becomes a tough fight between the body and the virus as both are competing. A virus can also be released into the world where it can affect another host of a different species. The genes that a virus has are shared between the virus and the infected host. These are the ones giving it the potential to possess unique traits without having to start from zero. Later, the Genome Project was out to understand the DNA of humans. After 13 years of several tasks that were not easy, the project was complete. This happened after several improvements in genetic computing. Understanding the DNA composition proceeded for a while until the 21st century. It was disclosed that 4% of the DNA contacts with the genes for one to be able to determine our features. The rest are said to be originating from the virus. In 2002, after the completion of the Human Genome Project, a virus was created in New York. This was a success out of the use of simple genetic techniques of the Genome Project to obtain a DNA. This gave rise to the polio virus. This virus was similar to the one that affected the eyes of children in the past century. Small genetics could move from one place to another in the gene. This process took place in eukaryotic cells. If the sections of the DNA were in need of the ability to move in and out of the cell with the help of a protein, their transmission mode could be like that of a virus. This evolution process is like that of a retrovirus which is also unique in its own way. However, this transmission mode is not fit for all other viruses. Viruses have one characteristic that makes them to adapt in any environment. That is reproduction which makes it easier for a virus to survive. Viruses are unique in nature and even in the way they survive. They have not only come into existence lately but have been there even before life began. Viruses were there in the first cells and were also there even before the cells. This brings us to the conclusion that true life and viral life are all destined to be. The virus is present and ready to infect whenever it comes across a host. The survival chances of the host depend on its defense mechanism. Virus infection will always be part of life on Earth. Thank you for watching this video and please remember to subscribe so that you don't miss on any latest news.